All right, so today we are gonna quickly go over the contents of the global data download from a few hours ago, which was related to part two of the 350 million download celebration that is starting either tonight or tomorrow morning, depending on your time zone. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to my boy Proton 10MG on Twitter for posting all these assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's uh, scroll down a little bit here and see what's going on. So the first thing we have is this new Int Krillin that Dokken awakens into a uh, Krillin slash Vegeta exchange unit. Now initially, I thought they were gonna be a joined forces unit, right? And I was like, yo, their links are gonna be absolute trash. But then I realized that they are in fact an exchange unit. So technically, you start as Krillin first and then you exchange into Vegeta, which means that they have their own separate link sets. So it's gonna be fine. So yeah, this is a new free to play unit, which is available through a new story event in part two. And from there we have the uh, Vegeta himself after the exchange. We also have the token awakening for the tech Zarbon into Zarbon and Dodoria. And this one is a joined forces unit, not an exchange unit. So uh, yeah, there's that. And then we also have the story event awakening medals for the Krillin and Zarbon respectively. We have the Global versus JP free to play units. And of course the winner will be getting this Fizz Bardock and the loser is gonna be getting this uh, Int first form Frieza. Now, like I said before, I don't really care too much which one we get on Global, cause at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll be able to pick up whoever we're missing uh, for the next anniversary, right? But if I had a choice for one unit I want more right now, I mean, it's gotta be the Bardock. <laughs> it's gotta be the Bardock. So if you guys are global players, which most of you probably are because we are talking about the global data download, uh, let's try a little bit harder this time. Let's try to get this Bardock, but if we don't, not a huge deal, you know? So there you go, two free to play units. And then there's also the assets for the AGL transforming Goku Extreme Z battle slash Extreme Z awakening. So. These are, of course, his Extreme Z battle assets. And then we have his uh, Extreme Z awakening medals as well. So there you go. And then uh, from there, we have a bunch of free to play uh, Extreme Z awakenings slash new event stages. So this, of course, is for the Extreme Z area stages for Ginyu, sorry, not Ginyu, for uh, Burger and Jace, respectively. And uh, these are their sticker masks. And then there's the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the Birder and also the Jace. Now, Ginyu is actually still up in the air. We don't know exactly when that's coming, but it seems like, you know, there might be a part three coming for the celebration, which uh, didn't happen last year, but I guess it is possible. So maybe they're saving Ginyu for part three. And some people seem to think that we're also gonna be getting an LR Awakening for one of these free to play units. Uh, either the Zarbon and Dodoria or the Vegeta and Krillin. Now I'm not sure about that. I guess we could get that in part three, but for the time being, um, you know, there's no Ginyu Extreme Z Awakening. So we gotta assume that they're saving that for later on, but I don't know exactly when. We'll see. All right, so yeah, uh, Extreme Z Awakenings for Burger and Jace. We have the new maps for the Faded History Saiyan in Rebellion story event. So I'll just give you guys a quick look at those. There you go. And this is stage five. And we also have some new special events. Uh, I believe the first one here is for the Astonishing Power Up Grand Elder Guru's Guidance, where it's gonna be easier for us to uh, level up our links. And I think I read somewhere that it's just gonna be a higher multiplier as opposed to like guaranteed level ups, which I guess would have been too broken. It would have been nice. I would have preferred guaranteed link level ups, but uh, that was, I guess, asking for too much. So yeah, from what I heard, it's a 4.5 times multiplier. So I guess uh, we'll just have like a higher chance. I don't know exactly what that means to be honest. I heard that from level nine to level 10, 
it's a 3% chance to increase that link. So maybe instead of 3%, it's gonna be something like 15% or, oh, that's not the right math, 13%. I don't really know. The point is, it's gonna be a higher chance, but I don't believe it's guaranteed. Okay, so we have the Guru event, and we also have the uh, Full On Crisis Bulma on Duty event, which is this map right here, which uh, looks very similar, of course. Now, uh, I saw something pretty interesting. According to Air Dokkan, we can get up to 280 free stones from the Bulma event. Now, I guess that's through clears and missions, but I mean, if that's true, that's huge. That, that, that's huge, man, because I was expecting something like 70 to 100 stones, just like the launch event from the past, right? But I mean, that's more than 200 over what I was expecting, so uh, we'll see if it adds exactly how it works, um, because it's almost like too good to believe, honestly. Uh, 280 stones is a lot. I'm guessing over the course of part two, but still, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, anyways, uh, let's go back to the data download here, and... Let's see what else we have here. Um, oh, new stages for the Ruler of the Universe and the Warrior Race Legend of Super Saiyan. So we have stages 5, 6, and 7. And then we also have new stages for the Ruler of the Universe and the Warrior Race Emperor's Intentions story event. Stages 5, 6, and 7. And uh, there's the second stage of the collection of epic battles called Nightmares of Planet Namek. So instead of fighting the good guys this time, we're gonna be fighting the villains. And uh, there's also a new event called Furious Charge Breaking the Siege where we have to defeat uh, enemies from Frieza's army. There's gonna be five identical maps and one for each type. So AGL, Fizz, you know, SDR, so on and so forth. And I believe the goal here is just to defeat as many of them in one goal, in one goal, in one go as possible. Um, and then of course, once we you know, complete missions, we can get stones, uh, training items, and so on and so forth. So, uh, I can't say exactly what that's gonna look like. Um, seems pretty basic though. I don't think it's really like a nuking event. I think it's more like a... Uh, I'm not really sure to be honest. I guess like it's gonna give you rolls and then you're gonna try to like get as many... Like hit as many enemies as possible in one go or something like that. We'll see. We'll find out tonight. Obviously, I will be streaming when part two starts, so uh, we'll of course test out all of these events when we get a chance. So yeah, that's the new Freeze's Army event, and uh, we have some new support memories. This is the Super Saiyan Goku, and then also the uh, Gohan's Tears uh, support memory, and then we have a new wallpaper, which is Bardock and Frieza, or rather Bardock's crew and Frieza. And uh, this, I mean, it's pretty dope, I would say. It looks pretty good. Now, this does kind of reinforce the idea that maybe, just maybe, we're going to get a new LR Bardock for part two. Of course, it could be nothing. Okay, it could just be, you know, on, on theme for the celebration. And that's cool too, but I would love a new LR Bardock, man. So, I hope that happens. I really hope that happens, we'll see. Um, after that, there is a bunch of story assets. So we got a Super Saiyan Goku story asset. That looks awesome, by the way. That looks really good. Okay, and then we have uh, Krillin getting messed up. We have a bunch of Zarbons. We have a new Kui. Uh, this guy looks like he's been in the game, actually. But either way, we have Kui. We have some Frieza soldiers. We have uh, some Kid Vegetas, some more Vegetas right there, some more Vegetas, so lots of Vegeta assets. And then uh, we also have Dead Vegeta, uh, more Vegeta, that's lots of Vegetas, man. Okay, and then we have King Vegeta, his dad. We have a couple of Bardocks, uh, let's see, a couple of Frieza's. Uh, we've got Piccolo and Gohan, we have more Super Saiyan Gokus, and these are some really good assets, like they would make for uh, some good thumbnails, gotta keep that in mind. Okay, uh, Full Power Frieza, 
and then we have the Bulma, and we also have the uh, space pod, like, uh, jets, I guess, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, those are pretty much all the assets that were added to the game through the data download. Once again, big shout out to my boy Proton10MG. And before we go, we're going to quickly go over the details of uh, each of the Awakening slash new units that are coming for uh, Part 2, aside from, of course, the, the LR, right? So, let's jump over to the, uh, oh, this is DBZ Space, by the way, and it's, uh, you know, it's got the release date for all of these free-to-play units, which is, like I said, tonight slash tomorrow morning, depending on your time zone. So, if you're uh, like me, you go by Eastern Time, it's going to be 2 a.m. Eastern on September 9th, but for people like Toon Rami that are, you know, um, go by Pacific Time Zone, then that's going to be 11 p.m. tonight on September the 8th, okay? So there you go. If you are in a different time zone, uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, but just Google it and actually just go to the Dokkan Wiki. Go to the Dokkan Wiki. There's going to be a countdown and you know exactly when uh, part two starts, all right? So let's start with the AGL Birder Extreme Z Awakening. Leader skill is Dragon Ball Seekers, category key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 77% or AGL types key plus three. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, raises defense, raises attack for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained. High chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, as the first attacker. In a turn, medium chance of launching an additional super attack as the second or third attacker. In a turn, chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, plus 20% when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. So, uh, yeah, he looks pretty good, just like the Goldo and the Raccoon. And that is murder for you. Now moving on to the Jace here. Leader skill, Space Traveling Warriors, category key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 77% or STR types key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and raises allies attack and defense by 20% for one turn. And passive is attack and defense plus 90% plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% with each attack performed up to 60%. Extreme class allies key plus 3 and attack plus 30% for seized enemy super attacks. That's awesome. Ginyu Force category allies defense plus 40% when there is another Ginyu Force category ally on the team. Uh, yeah, that is Jace. Now let's take a look at the free to play Bardock and First Form Frieza's for the Global vs JP campaign. Uh, leader skill for the Bardock here is Space Traveling Warriors, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 35%. Super attack raises attack and defense by 35% for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is, oh my god, okay, attack and defense plus 35% plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when attacking, plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when there is an extreme class enemy, plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when performing a super attack, key plus 3 plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing only one enemy. E plus 5 plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% and launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. <laughs> oh my god. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan uh, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, and Family Ties. Now, uh, this passive seems really crazy, but these, you know, e each additional buff is kind of small, so I'm assuming he's going to be fine as like a filler your Saiyans or Goku's family unit, but, um, you know, he, he's not really going to be like that useful for most people, but nonetheless, that is a super long passive, holy crap. Is Frieza going to be the same? Probably, right? Oh no, actually Frieza's is shorter. Okay, so for Frieza, leader skill is space traveling, a warrior's category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 35%, super attack raises attack and defense by 35% for one turn and causes supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 35% plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when attacking plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when there's a super class enemy plus an additional attack and defense plus 35% when performing a super attack, key plus 3 plus an additional 35%, attack and defense plus 35% and medium chance of, uh, of performing a critical hit when facing only one enemy. Okay, so Frieza is actually missing the part where um, 
he gets, you know, these additional attacks, and also the key, and attack and defense plus 35% when facing two or more enemies. So Bardock, I guess, is the better unit. Actually, Frieza has big bad bosses, though. Frieza has big bad bosses, so even though Bardock's passive is technically better, Frieza's links are going to be better. Um, they're both going to be decent, I guess, as free to play units, but once again, you know, nothing too crazy. Uh, really not going to be replacing any of the other existing Frieza's or Bardock's in the game. Um, Link's strongest client in space, universe's most malevolent, metamorphosis, thirst for conquest, big bad bosses, and fear and faith. So that is your first form Frieza. And then we have the Zarabon and Tutoria, leader skill, space traveling warriors, G plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%, uh, super attack, causes supreme damage and lowers attack, and passive is attack and defense plus 70% plus an additional, attack and defense plus 10% with each attack performed up to 50% plus an additional, attack and defense plus 50% when there's an ally whose name includes Frieza, soldier excluded, attacking on the same turn, and then space traveling warriors, category allies, key plus 2, attack and defense plus 20%, Links, Freezes Army, Freezes Minion, uh, Nightmare, Loyalty, Brutal Beatdown, Tracking Speed, and Shattering the Limit. Now, I am 100% sure that these guys will be getting an Extreme Z Awakening, um, I guess, for this upcoming Part 3. So, you know, even though they're, like, not that impressive right now, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad, but not super impressive. Uh, I'm sure they'll get much better. So that is Zarbon and Zidoria. And finally, we have the Krillin slash Vegeta exchange unit. So leader skill is Planet Namek Saga, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, supreme damage. And passive is attack and defense plus 60% plus an additional attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack. Medium chance of evading enemies' attacks including super attacks, plus an additional defense plus 30% up to 60% with each attack evaded, including super attack. And then the active skill is the exchange into Vegeta, and it can be activated after the character evades four or more uh, enemy attacks, including super attacks in battle. Links are Turtle School, Z Fighters, Courage, Solid Support, Brainiacs, High Compatibility, and Shattering the Limit. And then for Vegeta, his super attack is going to be raises attack and causes supreme damage. Passive recovers 20% HP once only. Attack and defense plus 100% plus an additional. Attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack. Links are going to be Saiyan Warrior Race, Royal Lineage, Prodigies, Brutal Beatdown, the Saiyan Lineage. Uh, prepare for battle and shattering the limit. And once again, I think these guys will also be getting Extreme Z Awakenings um, in the future. So they'll be better as well. And uh, that's going to do it, guys, for today's video. Uh, I kind of got to run because I have a dentist appointment. And oh, my God, I'm actually really late for it. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to get this video up and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be late to my dentist. I'm sure they will understand. Uh, I'll just tell them I got to to make a data download video, you know, so it'll be fine. And uh, yeah, guys, part two starting tonight. Uh, tune into the stream if you're available. If not, that's totally fine. But lots of new content and then probably a part three as well in a couple weeks. So uh, there you go. Yo, big shout out to my boy Proton10MG once again for posting everything. Uh, quick reminder, 2 a.m. Eastern time on the 9th or 11 p.m. Pacific time on the 8th. Okay, that's when most of this stuff is coming out. Apparently we're getting up to 280 stones from the Bulma event, which is still insane to me. And uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.